Last year's final of the Internazionale BNL d'Italia signified the emergence of a new talent. For years, Roger Federer has carried his country's tennis hopes. Tres. Stanislas Vavrinka's performances on the road to play pushed a different Swiss player firmly into the limelight. Great tournament for me. Of course, played the first final in Master Series and come to the top 10 for the first time. It was my best result last year. Yeah, it was a great tournament and I won some good match. I lost in final against Djokovic in three sets, but uh, it was very important to me to, to play final in Master Series and to, to, be, to be a better player. Vavrinka's path to his first ATP Masters 1000 final included victories over James Blake and Andy Roddick. And although he has points to defend and a high standard of play to reproduce, he isn't feeling under pressure this time around. Not really. I'm just really happy to come back on a great tournament. So, you know, I played well last year, so I know I like the condition, I, I like the clay, I like the, I like the tournament. So I will try to, to do my best and to be, to be better than last year. Last season, Vavrinka stormed into the top ten in the world, and over the past year, he's built on those foundations. A semi-finals appearance in Monte Carlo this month included a victory over compatriot Roger Federer along the way. Yes, I'm, I'm sure I'm a better player. I'm not. Uh, I'm a little down in the ranking, but uh, I'm, I'm happy with my game, and I, I know I'm going to be better at the end of the year. Vavrinka has arrived here in Rome confident in his game and with realistic expectations. Um, uh, it's to, to play a good tennis, you know, I know if I, I play good, if I'm ready with my, with my game and everything, I can, I can beat a lot of players, so I will try to be, to be focused on what I need to do. And with the potentially tricky first round match safely in the bag, perhaps this year Vavrinka can go one better here in Rome.